This is rendered in Unreal Engine using a camera rail track to create this drone look. But camera rig rails are commonly used in film cinematography to create a typical dolly or a track move. So I'm going to show you how to use the camera rig rail in your Unreal Engine projects. So I'm going to go to where I want to start and I'm going to add a camera rig rail. I'll drag that into the scene, press F to go there, press G to see it and point it in the direction I want to start. Now these rig rails are spline based and to see that I click on it again and to manipulate the spline points I click once, I click twice to go into the spline component that's just how you click through it and move these spline points around for your uh, dolly or tracking shots on your dead straight rail but I'm going to show you how to a couple of ways to add extra points so with this one selected on the end if I hold down alt and drag that out let go hold alt again drag that out there or if I have one selected in the middle I can add an extra one there by hold it, holding down alt and dragging or press delete to get rid of it or another way to add a brand new one at a point that you want is right click where you want it and add a spline point there you can select the points and change their weighting or their rotation to get that just how you want of course if you're doing a fly through it can float wherever you want it to so that's how you edit it. Let's add a camera and drag that into the scene. And the way that we attach the camera to the rig rail mount is by going to the outliner. And with the camera selected, or rather just dragging it onto the camera rig rail, creates that relationship. Now, with the camera selected I want to reset its transforms by going to the details panel and the location and rotation it inherited before I attached it there so that looks more like it I'm going to change this to local I'm going to move it up to a typical height and move it forward a bit so that the body of the camera is over the rail mount uh, because if it's on a tripod it's that's where it'll be attached and therefore that's where it'll rotate from a bit more realistic so now if I select the rail the way that we move it along it is by in the details panel and the rail it says current position on rail zero is uh, the first spline point and one is the last spline point so I can drag to go between the two Now you'll notice that the way that the camera points, there's a couple of ways to control this. The straightforward one is lock orientation to rail, uh, which looks like a roller coaster. But we want to use a target, so I'm going to unhook that and add in a target. Add target, target point, and I'll move that to there to make it obvious now with the camera selected under the look at tracking settings I need to enable look at tracking second I need to select the actor to track and I'll pick the actor from the scene click that pick target point ready include some damping for the look at which is this um, look at tracking interpolation speed uh, zero for no smoothing and you can add a bit more if you want it to go there slowly I'll show you the difference here so if, if I've got the rail there if I go there you can see how it's slowly tracking towards the target point which creates for smoother transitions I'm going to add a level sequence actor right there 
and I'm going to create a new over here level sequence. Add it in cinematics, sequence, uh, rig, rail, cam, one. And I'm going to open the level sequence. Now we're in sequence mode. I'm going to select the camera. I'm going to hold shift and select the rail. I'm going to hold shift and select the target. Now in the sequencer, when I go to add, add to sequencer, add three actors, all populated. Now I'm going to drag the um, camera underneath the camera cut track. It's a bit neater. And this is where I pop in and out of the actual camera. So with no keyframes, I'll start on zero and I've got auto keyframe on. What am I going to do first? I'm going to select the camera rig rail because I want to change its position along the track. So I'll go to the details panel, current position on rail. I can either add the keyframe here or in the sequencer, add a track, current position on rail. I'll click it in the details panel to add my first keyframe. I'll move along to the end. Actually, I'm going to drag this out a little longer. And make sure that's over there. And the second way, well, I'm going to, I'm going to just put this up to one. Put that up to one, and now you can see the camera tracking uh, in action. It's always trying to look at that uh, point over there. Now I can drag back. See the interpolation's too slow. So let's select the camera and right there we're going to lower this to 0 0.1. No, we're going to increase it <laughs> to uh, 0 0.8 so, it's, so it gets there quicker. And I can also keyframe the um, target point of course. So I'll click on transform and press S with it selected and go to the end and I'm going to pop out of the camera so I can see what the animation is going to be along the line so that that target there I think about here I want it to be somewhere over here see how it looks 